Ellen Whitehead for Women of Colour in Policing Youth Influencer Summer Festival, which is happening on the 30th of July in Bedfordshire. Yes, <coughs> yes, I'm going down south. Aye, northern yes. down south. Anyway, yes. how are you doing, boy? Say so. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Fantastic. Oh, oh look at you. You're going to chill me down. You're gonna, I'm excitable, so you're going to chill me down. I've got a couple of questions I've got to ask you. Um, yes. Well, the first one is, how did you get involved with uh, Women of Colour in Policing with WOSIP? Um, I, I'll say thanks to Samantha. Um, Samantha got in contact with me um, through my social platform and she went through Black Awards. So Black Awards are also the people I'm working with um, to try and start my project I'm starting in September. And um, Black Awards was like, oh, Samantha, so like, people are looking for you. I'm like, who? That, who? Like, she's like, oh, there's a lady called Samantha. I'm like, yeah, you can give her my number. She can like get in contact with me. And she did. And we had a great conversation. Um, I love her vibe, positivity, the energy. And just the support she gave me, just on this, it wasn't just to call me to talk about my work. She actually did check up on what I was doing and how I was feeling mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually as well. Mm. So um, I'm grateful for that because um, young people like me don't really get that support a lot. So I'm grateful that Samantha actually saw my work on Twitter and she decided I like his work and I want to like get in contact with him. So that's how I got in contact with you guys and I'm able to like be performing at a festival that's that and talking about that's fantastic it's a lovely little story and talking about performing what would you say your style was um my style of music um I don't think there's a style for it I, I believe I have a message within myself um I have a story to to talk about um I've been through a lot within the past 24 months um that's going through grief homelessness uh, mental health um, a lot of things that's affected me from I'm human so I, I'm not a tree so I can I have emotions and feelings so um, losing a relationship that I was in for like seven years kind of like weighed me down affected my mental health um, affected me in, in every way shape and form spiritually mentally why I didn't even believe in in certain things no more so for me going having a mic and something that don't talk back to me <laughs> felt more like all right I need to heal I need to I need to meditate I need to go into yoga I need to go into different spaces to just try to clear my mind and stuff and in, in doing that was how I decided to go into a different type of music because I was making drill music so I'm still going through my transition from drill to jazz